Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Lakwatserong Butike. Mula doon sa makasaysayang simbahan ng Alaminos, Laguna, ang Our Lady of the Pillar Parish Church o mas kilala sa tawag na Alaminos Church na katawid na ang butike ngayon dito sa makasaysayan rin na simbahan ng San Mateo Rizal, ang Diocesan Shrine of Our Lady of Aranzazu o mas popular rin sa tawag na San Mateo Church. Samahan niyo ako dito guys! In the historic and quiet town of San Mateo Rizal, known for its kakanin, there is a unique shrine that is dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary in a very unique title that can only be found in San Mateo, the miraculous image of Nuestra Señora de Aranzazo. The Virgin of Aranzazo became a beacon hope to the people of San Mateo for she is known as the advocate against natural calamities, especially typhoons and earthquakes, healer of the sick, comforter of the afflicted, among others. The Lady of Aranzazo depicts the apparition in 1469 as she stands in a thorn tree with a small quadrilateral bell hanging on it. It includes the statue of the visionary Rodrigo de Balsategui in a kneeling position. The image is known for its unusual artistic posture, as the original image in Sanctuary of Aranzazo in Oñate, Spain, is a seated Maduna, yet stylized as a standing posture when its devotion was first introduced to the Philippine Islands based from the Mexican version of the Virgin of the same sobriquet venerated in that country. Another unique feature of the Virgin is that she holds an apple for it symbolizes the Blessed Virgin Mary as the new Eve for it was here that she restored life by being the mother of the author of life our Lord Jesus Christ, that Eve destroyed that led to original sin that brings death to all of us. The history of the Nuestra Señora de Aranzazo in San Mateo Rizal dates back to the early Spanish era of 1596 when the Augustinian friars built the first settlements in the place. On December 6, 1696, the Jesuits came and gained control of the town. In 1705, a Jesuit priest, Father Juan de Echazabal, started a devotion to Our Lady of Aranzazo from Spain and changed the patron of the town from St. Matthew to Nuestra Señora de Aranzazo. The image is believed to have ensured the safe journey of the ship and its passengers despite being caught in the midst of a raging storm. In 1732, the Dominicans of Litran in Intramuros also made an effort in spreading the devotion to the Nuestra Señora de Aranzazo among Filipinos during the Spanish era 
with the foundation of the Arch Confraternity of Nuestra Señora de Aranzazo. The shrine of Nuestra Señora de Aranzazo was first established on August 29, 1596, then under the patronage of St. Matthew the Apostol, an evangelist, until it was replaced by the Virgin of Aranzazo. Aside to the chapel dedicated to Nuestra Señora de Aranzazo in Colegio de San Juan de Litran in Intramuros, Manila, it is the only parish the country that is named and dedicated to Our Lady of Aranzazo in the Philippines. In June 2004, the diocesan shrine of Our Lady of Aranzazo was canonically erected to the joyous thanksgiving and celebration of the parishioners and all her devotees, and it, the solemn proclamation took place in July 16, 2004. Thousand of devotees offer testimonials of miracles through the intercession of the Virgin of Aranzazo. One of the most popular is when during one typhoon season in the country, San Mateo was in danger of flooding, that it was decided to bring out the image of the Virgin from her shrine and to be brought in every area in San Mateo. It is said that once the Virgin faced its household or area, the floods suddenly subsided. Another case was during the Typhoon Yolanda that would also threaten Rizal area and it was at that time the Episcopal coronation of Nuestra Señora de Aranzazo will take place. Heavy rain downpour was looming in the area Yet, when the Virgin arrived for her Episcopal coronation, the rain suddenly stopped and the coronation ceremony took place. Other miracles from her devotees were recorded by the shrine and can be seen in the prayer chapel of the Virgin from cures from different diseases like cancer, passing of qualifying examination for different professions, financial aids, reconciliation of families, conversion of non-believers, among others, that the people of San Mateo gave their loving devotion and affection to their beloved patroness over the centuries. With the miracles that were attributed to the Lady of the Thorn Tree, the image was given much recognition from the Church. The image was first granted an Episcopal coronation on November 13, 2013, by the Bishop of Antipolo, Gabriel V. Reyes, while the coronation ceremony was officiated by Reverend Francisco M. de Leon, D.D. Years later, the request for the official recognition of the Church through the canonical coronation of the image was granted in response to the petition made by the community through the parish priest, Reverend Father Lawrence C. Pass, with the necessary documents prepared by Cofraja de Nuestra Señora de Aranzazo, now known as the Association of Our Lady of Aranzazo, in compliance to the requirements needed for the canonical coronation of the venerated Marian image. The decree of the canonical coronation was promulgated on June 17, 2016 by Prefect of the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments, Robert Cardinal Sara. The much-awaited day on May 31, 2017, the Feast of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the original Feast of the Queenship of Mary in the Tridentine calendar, she was canonically crowned in the presence of thousands of devotees from all over the country in attendance and was simultaneously viewed online through live stream for her devotees around the world. The feast day of the Virgin is celebrated every September 9 with much solemnity and joy for the people will carry her image in procession while waving their white handkerchiefs, singing her joyful hymn. Her feast day was once celebrated every Sunday 
or Sunday near Pentecost until it was discovered by then parish priest Reverend Father Marcelino Prudente that in Uniet, Spain, they celebrate her feast day on September 9. And through his efforts, Bishop Protasio Gomon, then the Bishop of the Diocese of Antipolo, declared that the Feast of the Virgin will be celebrated on September 9 in 1989. Today, every ninth of the month is dedicated to the devotion to the Virgin of Aranzazo that is still practiced in the shrine up to the present. The devotion to Nuestra Señora de Aranzazo continues to inspire the people of San Mateo to strive for their faith. Miracles continued to be reported through her intercession up to the present, and pilgrims from all over the country flock to her shrine to seek her intercession. In times of adversities, our Lord never abandoned us in every step of the way, and He will do something to help us, and for the case of the Virgin of Aransasu, He sent His mother to help the people to alleviate their sufferings and this led to development of the people's faith to God through Our Lady. Nuestra Señora de Aranzazo, pray for us. Mula naman dito sa Diocesan Shrine of Our Lady of Aranzazo, dito sa San Mateo Rizal, susubukan ko munang ikutin ang Laguna Loop. Titingnan ko kung makakaya ba ng tuhod ng butiki ang malulupit na mga ahon papunta doon. Maraming makasaysayang simbahan ang madadaanan doon tulad ng Mabitak Church, Pangil Church, Pakil Church, Paiti Church at Lumban Church. Tatagos ako ng pagsanhan palabas ng Los Baños, Laguna. Abangan niyo ako doon guys! Bye-bye!